Hello, my name is Julia Beck and I'm honored to present to you my master thesis on the topic visual decision support in emergency response for emergency medical technicians, a design, implementation and assessment of a dashboard for major incidents. Major incidents are stressful situations with a lot of chaos and a lot of patience. So who receives the task of leading such a major incident? Well, it's the first arriving car on scene. Each car has at least two EMTs or paramedics on board. And the paramedics of the first arriving car on site split into the tasks of operation leader and transport leader. To support them while leading such a major incident, they receive a clipboard. A clipboard which has checklists, lists to fill out, and further information that could be useful during the major incident. But why not support them with a digital dashboard? Why not help them with data visualization? That's exactly why the following research question was formulated. The research question is, how can major incident data be visualized to be used by operation and transport leaders? To answer this question, a four-step user-centered approach was used. Firstly, the problem analysis was done to then create a design and the design is used for the prototype, which was finally evaluated. During the problem analysis, there were three major problems found with the clipboard. First of all, experts stated that the clipboard is not stable. Secondly, there is an information overload, not only by the information coming in from the major incident, but also by all the information included in the clipboard. Last, lastly, the third problem found is that they have to handle multiple objects at the same time. They have to handle the clipboard, the tablet and the radio. Okay, we have a tablet, so yet let's use a digital prototype. But what could it look like? Together with the experts, I built the following view for the operation leader. On the left side, there is a checklist with points that are still open or already done. There is also a pie chart showing what categories of patients are during, on site during the major incident. Also, they have a map, a map where they can mark positions. The transport leader also has a map to mark positions, but differently to the operation leader, they have a vehicle list indicating which vehicles are on site and which vehicles are on the way to the hospital, for example. Once they send the vehicle to the hospital, they can put it in for the bar chart. This bar chart is used to have an overview how many vehicles have been sent to which hospital to not overwhelm any resources in the area. For the evaluation, I evaluated both options with eight EMTs. They received an example major incident, which was a chemistry accident in the school, and they had four possible combinations of roles that they had to tackle. Either they first received the clipboard or the tablet, and either they first were the operation leader or the transport leader. For the operation leader, they were sent into a room with stuffed animals symbolizing patients. They had little sheets of papers showing which injuries or which condition a pa patient has, and the yellow points show the position. For the transport leader, they received little paper cars to show how they would let them park, which car they sent to a hospital, and at some point a paper helicopter arrived on scene, which they also had to handle. What were the results and the remarks of the experts after the evaluation? Well, four of the experts preferred the digital solution, two preferred the paper-based solution, and two of them were happy with either solution. However, they all unanimously stated that they felt supported by the dashboard, especially by having a map and by the vehicle list and the hospital view. Also, problems like unreadable handwriting or handling multiple objects at the same time are reduced by having such a digital solution. But there is a wish to have a cooperative tool, either within the team or with other organizations or dispatchers. This is exactly where I want to do my PhD in the future. Thank you very much for your attention.